I know I don't have to tell you how much of a tourist hotspot Las Vegas is. That's obvious, we all know that. But how much of a blessing would it be to have a private space for friends or family when they come to town to visit? I'll let you be the judge and the tour coming up next. Hey everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is MJ. I'm a realtor out here in Las Vegas working under the Berkshire Hathaway brand. If this is the first time we've met on this channel, I really appreciate you stopping by to check it out. I hope you enjoy today's tour. If you really do like content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification as well so you don't miss a single beat. And here on this channel, we tour all around the Las Vegas Valley looking at model homes and existing inventory. Also, you don't have to and make your shopping experience for your next home all the more easy. And on today's video, we're gonna head out to Valley Vista, which is located in North Las Vegas. We're gonna check out a home that has a home within a home. If that doesn't make sense to you, it definitely will here shortly. So what do you say we get out there and check out this tour? Let's go. Welcome to North Las Vegas, everybody. Today we are looking at a home that is 2,754 square feet, four bedrooms, three bathrooms, three car garage. It's all starting at 465,990. This home is generously upgraded with standard features. I will let you know what those are as we go through the tour. Also today, you're gonna to be noticing that some signs are gonna be blacked out. They kind of give away who the builder is, but I want you guys to guess who the builder is in this video. Let me know in the comments below who you think it is, why you think that. I did leave a couple hints throughout the videos. So keep an eye out for those if you're having a hard time guessing. First off, here you're gonna see the paver driveway, paver walkway here. That's gonna be included as well as the front landscaping and the drip irrigation system. Outside on this house, you've got a barbecue stub out back as well as a covered patio. And you also get a holiday light pre-wire package, meaning there will be a couple outlets underneath the eaves outside to install those holiday lights at that time of year. As we walk inside, you have a really nice hallway there. Um, immediately to the left, you have two bedrooms as well as a full bathroom. The builder is including 12 by 24 inch ceramic tile in the entryway, the wet areas, which are the bathrooms in the kitchen and the laundry room, as well as this front hall here, the great room and the dining room. That's a really nice feature that'll save you a few bucks at the design studio. If you wish to upgrade the tile to something else, I'm sure you can definitely do that. In the bedrooms, there will be carpet and you can choose that at the design studio as well. Uh, this bedroom here, I believe it was about 11 by 10, maybe 12 by 10. Got a standard closet there. Um, you're gonna get two-tone paint throughout the house, three and a half inch molding. The bathrooms are gonna be included with granite. Um, you're gonna have a standard size sink here, elongated toilet. If you prefer a granite with a little bit more movement in it rather than more spotchy like this one is, you could definitely upgrade your granite at the design studio to something that suits your needs a little bit more. This house is nicely upgraded with some smart features too. You got a Z-Wave. Um, you can control your thermostat through that. It is ADT security system ready. It is a smart home with a touchscreen control panel. You got a smart video doorbell, a smart deadbolt, things like that. This community is nicely centrally located. You have some really nice parks nearby. Um, you got Aliante Casino. You're close to shopping, including Smith's and Walmart and Costco. There's plenty of banks. There's pretty much anything you'll need very, very near. Um, coming out of the bedrooms there, you come into the dining room next. Now, I'm a Seahawks fan, so I don't mind the decorating in this house. There's a lot of blue and green and silver. It's reminiscent to me of Seattle Seahawks. What do you guys think about the coloring choices that they made in this house? Let me know in the comments below. Coming out into the great room, um, you're going to have a surround sound pre-wire as well as a uh, flat screen, meaning that you will have no cords against the wall. It'll be hidden behind the wall for you. It's really, really nice. Makes installation a lot easier. This kitchen is nicely upgraded. It's going to come with Whirlpool stainless appliances along with a double oven, the stainless dishwasher, stainless microwave, and a five burner stove top. Granite will be standard with the 1.5 inch edge there. Again, you can definitely upgrade that at the design studio if you don't like that particular movement in your granite. I really like the backsplashes they chose in this house. It has a Nice herringbone look to it. I think it contrasts the flooring really, really well. 
Got a really nice sized pantry down here on the left. I'll see you here in just a second. One thing that I had to upgrade in my home when I bought it and had it built, I had to upgrade my cabinetry. You do not in this home. This is a 42 inch upper standard and it has the two and a quarter inch crown molding on top of it. That's a really, really nice feature as well as soft clothes with the dovetail drawers. It's really, really nice that you don't have to upgrade that yourself. This pantry, you got a really nice size pantry there. What do you guys think of this home so far? I really love single level homes. I think they're fantastic. They're super easy to get around. If you agree with me, show me some love. Smash that like button. Thank you. Coming into the primary bedroom. This was a little bit of a smaller primary bedroom, but it's okay. There's still plenty of room for your bed in here. Um, it has a nice alcove right here uh, for your dresser. Again, you're gonna have carpet in the bedrooms. So keep that in mind. The master, you're gonna have granite throughout upgrade that as you see fit as a design studio as uh, an additional charge you're going to have a dual sink vanity as well as the standard shower tub separate you're going to have an elongated toilet in the water closet and the walk-in closet is right there you got dual level in that walk-in closet so check that out here in just a second and just like the bedroom it will be carpeted as well on um, this tour, I don't really talk about the laundry room too much. You do get 36 inch upper cabinetry in the laundry room where most builders do not include that for you. This builder is. You're gonna have a gas hookup for your dryer and a very nice size laundry room. All right, we're gonna go ahead and head out of here and we're gonna head into the extra suite, if you will. Basically what this is, is kind of a home within the home. The suite does have its own independent access to the garage as well as a locking door to the main portion of the home. Down the hall towards the front door to the left of the kitchen here you have access to the garage, the suite as well as a coat closet and the laundry room is right there as well. We're going to go outside and go through the front door of this suite so you can kind of see what's going on over here. We've got a nice gate there. I do believe that will be a pedestrian entrance. I do not think it'll be a full gate like that, but you can upgrade that to have them build that in for you like that. That's a really nice feature to have. It helps you gain access to your backyard very easily if you're doing a lot of maintenance back there. I'm going to head on inside here. You're immediately greeted into the mini great room, if you will. There's going to be a um, flat screen pre-wire there, so you don't have the cords hanging out from the wall. As well as the kitchen here, you get a refrigerator and the sink, but there will not be a stove. So what I would recommend is getting a, like a toaster oven or something like that. And then you can get a countertop microwave as well if you wanted to add that in also. You're gonna have a separate laundry area right here uh, with the stacked washer and dryer has its own private bathroom to the left here, which we're gonna take a look in in just one second. Granite countertops again. This one is built out with the shower. You can do a shower tub combo if you care to at the design studio. And then there's a linen closet just to the right here. And then we're gonna go into the bedroom. Bedroom was about 10 by 11 again, same as the other two in the home. Got a standard closet as well. And just to round out the tour, this home does come with a tankless water heater, as well as ceiling fan pre-wire in the secondary bedrooms with a surface, excuse me, a surface mount ceiling light. You're also gonna get a TX built-in pest defense system that'll be built into the walls for you. This is an option that a lot more builders are starting to include. Um, it makes it really easy for the exterminator to get in and spray for those pests that might be in your wall. Alrighty guys, that's gonna about wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's tour, but I wanna know, who do you think today's builder was? Who would be living with you in the suite? Or would you leave it for guests? Would you rent it out? Let me know in the comments below. I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say. If you enjoyed today's video or found it informative, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps out a lot. Thank you. And if you really like content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single video when I upload on Fridays. If you're interested in taking a private tour of this model, make sure you give me a call. 
text me, email me. My information is in the description below. And if you're interested in any tours around the Las Vegas Valley, make sure you get in contact with me as well. I would love to get out there and take a tour with you and feature you in my next video. And as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by and touring with me. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Ah.